Sunlight really does have the best of the best books, right? Let's talk about the 12 best picture books. Your family is never too old for picture books. I know it might feel like it, and a lot of them are positioned into lower levels of sunlight, but rest assured, you put these on a coffee table, your kids are gonna be flipping through them with joy. Let's dive in. Here are two books from Sunlight's preschool package. While they are um, lined up in our preschool package, I will say, these books are really, really good for um, morning baskets, to put in bedrooms, to flip through at night, um, to include on your coffee table, anywhere you want your kids to just pick up and read on their own as they get older. These are great. So the first one is Make Way for McClowski. This one includes eight different stories. This book um, is just beautifully illustrated as well as, you know, the stories are touching and um, family friendly and just great books to um, have around for your kids to flip through at any age. Um, you can see that the writing in here is um, long enough to be a read aloud for you. Um, also, you know, acceptable enough for children who are a little bit older. Um, the second one is Treasury of a Picture Book Classics. This one really does include 12 different classic books that you and I have all heard of um, and our, I know my children still love. Think um, Goodnight Moon, and that is a classic we've had in our house for a long time. Um, Caps for Sale, there's um, Give a Mouse a Cookie, Leo the Late Bloomer, Harold and the Purple Crayon. I will say my, my older child loves to read these stories to my younger child, and I absolutely love that. Both of these, again, great additions for um, your morning basket or anytime you want to give your kids great picture books. These are from Sunlight's Pre-K Package. These are additional books that you can keep in your kid's bedroom, regardless of their age, but it is, um, they're very age appropriate for a child to flip through, or at least this one is for a child to flip through. Um, the note to the teacher here at the very beginning does say, or parents says, it's never too early to introduce children to art. And this book is an exceptional way of doing this. These are classic pictures and what they do is sort of divide these pictures based on um, different things and then put the year on them. So this is the far in the farmland or farmyard sorry from 1787. This is from 1835. This one is from Piglets from um, 1782 and The Bull and the Cow from 1895. That's just an example of how your children and your family can walk through um, and talk. they can talk about counting. Here's two angels, we've all seen this picture, um, and three girls, and then it gives the ages, and you can talk about where these came from and who the artist is, and, um, and it's all listed here. This is Seasons. Uh, and it runs through medieval times to more modern um, art. This one's from 1915, um, and that one up there is from 1943. So you do get quite a variety in this book. It is a great addition. The Children's Book of Virtue um, includes poems and um, stories. It's mostly poems or short stories from Aesop, from Robert Frost. There's a story in here about George Washington's life and Native Americans and African folklore. And they're wonderfully illustrated, quick reads, just wonderful um, addition to your morning basket, your bedside table, your coffee table, anytime you want children to read. This one is one of our favorites, it's People. And if you've not flipped through this on your own, this is a great um, sort of introduction to what makes people different. We talk about how people look different and their different clothing and their different religions and their different languages. And it talks about where they are and, and what they do and, 
um, their jobs and, and just uh, tra ways of transportation. This is a great, great addition to explore the world outside of your home. From Sunlight's History Bible A and from Sunlight History Bible B, these two have um, a lot in common because clearly they're both about animals. The Treasury for Children is um, really a collection of stories from the English countryside in the 1900s. This has just some awesome stories about animals, heartwarming stories, stories you will, your children will love regardless of their age, um, especially if they're an animal lover. And then this one, the book of animal poetry, this one includes um, animals from all over the world, so you certainly can talk about that. It also t includes these um, gorgeous pictures of God's creatures, and it um, has little short poems about each of them. So easy for you to read as a family, easy for your children to read as they get older, um, and learn more about God's creations. From Sunlight's History Bible Literature C, these are four more books that are just great. Window on the World. If you're a Sunlighter, you know this book. This book really um, walks through under-evangelized um, countries of the world, talks about how you can pray with your family um, for those peoples of the world, and... Um, it's just a great look into people who may not be like the people in your living room, which is uh, just a great, um, a great resource for your family. Uh, Aesop's for children. This is 126 little stories um, that teach uh, as well as entertain. They have great illustrations here. And you can see as your children age, they'll be able to read these little short stories on their own. Um, so it's one to keep around. Michelangelo, this one is the story of his life and times. So this will give you a nice glimpse into, you know, creating art and how he, he came to do some of the most recognizable art um, in our, our lives. And then Good Queen Bess, the story of Queen Elizabeth I. I will say I am sort of a lover of all things English um, royalty, so this is one of my favorites. This is a great book that sort of talks about how her religious tolerance, her love of people really um, allowed her to become one of the um, beloved leaders of England. The Gift of the Magi, a classic Christmas tale that's beautifully illustrated. This one won awards for its illustration. The tale of Jim and Della, who are a poor couple in New York, but want to gift their beloved with, um, you know, just something that they really adore, only to find out that the true gift is each other. There you have it, friends. The 12 lavishly illustrated sunlight books for your coffee table or morning basket or bedside table or anywhere you want your children to pick up a good family-friendly book and enjoy it.